Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Bob. It's a pleasure to be uh, with you here today and with everybody else uh, on this critical issue. Uh, I'd like to try and put this in uh, a little bit of context because I think uh, it's important to see the larger picture, uh, to understand really what the stakes are. And I think the uh, critical point that we need to come back to is the nature of the regime uh, in Tehran right now. This is an authoritarian government that oppresses its own people. Uh, it is uh, pursuing weapons of mass destruction very vigorously. Uh, and it has served for two decades as the world's central banker uh, for international terrorism. It supports terrorist groups like Hamas and Hezbollah. It's kind of an equal opportunity financier of terrorism. Uh, it has aided uh, those inside Iraq who have attacked American and other allied forces. Uh, it even supplies and finances its uh, once sworn enemy, the Taliban in Afghanistan, uh, in their uh, hostilities, again, against American and NATO forces. So when, when you hear the government in Tehran uh, accuse someone else of being a terrorist, uh, you immediately have to uh, take into account who is doing the talking uh, and what their objectives are. Uh, this, this government that is uh, manifestly unwilling uh, to submit itself to a free and fair election uh, of its own people, which is a central element in uh, the MEK platform. If you look at what the regime in Tehran did after the June 2009 election, uh, using brutal force uh, against uh, the people of Iran, and if you look today at what's happening in Syria, knowing as we do that uh, officers of the Revolutionary Guard Corps are assisting the Assad family dictatorship uh, in killing the people of Syria, that the assistance that has been given to Hezbollah uh, over the years is now being used in Syria as it has been used in Lebanon uh, repeatedly. This is the nature of the regime uh, that oppresses its own people and seeks to oppress those in other countries. Uh, and it's a regime that has uh, actively pursued all manner of weapons of mass destruction, nuclear, chemical, and biological. Now, the, the efforts of the world to deal with uh, the mullah's pursuit of nuclear weapons have not been successful. I think we have to be very candid about this. Uh, international diplomacy has failed uh, because there was no way that the regime was going to be talked out of its pursuit of nuclear weapons. International sanctions have failed for a variety of reasons uh, and are not going to succeed in dissuading the regime from continuing to pursue nuclear weapons. We have the case already of North Korea, the most heavily sanctioned regime on Earth, uh, that's already exploded two nuclear devices. So while the sanctions may have their economic effect, they're not going to stop uh, the regime from uh, trying to achieve that objective. And we can see, even in the past few days, uh, how the regime has successfully avoided sanctions to date and how it will continue to do so. The government of China uh, has, has uh, announced that it's trying to find a way around the financial sanctions imposed on Iran by the Security Council through a barter system. We've seen contracts announced where China has agreed to construct for over three billion dollars a subway system in Tehran where China has agreed to an over twelve billion dollar contract for the construction of railroads. How China has uh, agreed to construct and is constructing petroleum refining capacity. This is a kind of barter arrangement that will allow the regime uh, to avoid sanctions just as it works with governments like North Korea, like Hugo Chavez's government in Venezuela and others to continue its pursuit of nuclear weapons. Now, as Senator Torricelli said, it was one of my responsibilities uh, during President Bush's administration to be concerned with the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. And I have to say, here is where 
I had uh, my first knowledge of the MEK, which time and time and time again made public revelations about Iran's nuclear weapons program. Now, in some cases, we uh, were aware of what uh, they were making public. In 